Hi guys, welcome to Northwest Michigan Hunting and Fishing. Uh, I've been getting a lot of questions in my inbox about what baits I use for bed fishing when the bass are on their beds. Um, here are some of the baits I use. I'll go through them one at a time here. Uh, the first one here is a Gary Automotive Hula Grub. You can uh, either Texas um, rig it, Carolina rig it, or rig it up with a, a jig head right here. Just rig it through. And, uh, or you can Texas rig it with a little small off shank hook. And just put a weight on the end of it. Works real well. That's one bait I use. Gary Automotive. Um, but, um, Hula grub. <clears throat> the next ones I use um, are some two baits here, different types of sizes. I like to use. Um, you know, either rig them with a jig head, and pound the bottom, boom, boom, just pound the bottom of the bed, and the bass will get so mad that they'll come up and nail it. You got, you know, hollow tube baits, pumpkin seed, salted ones, but I use different sizes of those. Um, moving on down the line, sometimes I use a Berkley Gulp um, Shad with a real small hook or a nice looking uh, um, jig head on there. And just let it sit in that bed and just wiggle this with it. And it makes it look like this uh, little fish is eating the bass's eggs and they'll hit that real good. Uh, sometimes I go with a Gary Automotive 8 inch Rocky style worm and just drag it through the bed real slow. Just popping it. I'll go with a 5 inch or 4 inch uh, Gary Automotive Rocky style worm. Or I will go with a... Um, Go with a uh, gulp or yum crawdad. Bass hate crawdads in their beds. And I'll just, you know, rig this up, either Texas rig or, or pitch it on into their bed. Then I go with the Berkeley Habix. I use a lot. Then I use a lot of um, jig heads during bass season. Different various trailers. Now here's a rodent. And the bass will nail that all day long too. Right there, that's a nice pumpkin seed skirt. The Strike King wrote in on the back of it. But if I really want to go with something real big, I go with um, a pumpkin seed skirt with a pumpkin seed bait. This is a pit boss, I do believe. If I'm wrong, let me know. But that's a real good color combo for uh, bed fishing. Another thing I'll do is I'll cut these uh, weed guards down just a little bit. I think I did the striking when I cut down right here. So you see it's just passing. You see it. Let me see if I can get the camera to focus here. Notice it's cut right down so it's just barely making the hit on the hook. Which really makes it real nice, easier, a little bit easier set, um, hook set on that. And then I got a, a just a regular curly tail crab, the black and blue flake um, skirt on there. It's kind of hard to see, but it's a good bait to throw to in beds. So hopefully this answers all your questions. Uh, if you do have any questions on these baits, don't hesitate to ask. Uh, they're all good bed fishing baits, uh, especially this hula grub because of these these get broken off. You just turn it upside down and re-rig it through this end and you got this skirt hanging out. Works real well as well, so I've done that before too. So this is Northwest Michigan Hunting and Fishing. Think summer, think spring. Unfortunately it's been a, not a very good spring for us. We're going into the third week of April and it's still snowing here so 
The bass are going to be on their beds way late this year, I think. So yeah, take it easy guys. Um, thanks for subscribing, commenting, and viewing my videos. And uh, take care.